In today's book, we cover Fish. Fish talks about Mary Jane together with her husband and two children when they move from California to Seattle. A whole new change of life for them. They both find the jobs they love. Uh, they settle their children into daycare. And shortly after that, the husband passes away. Now, Mary Jane is left with two children to take care of. A little bit about the company that she's working for. It's called First Guarantee. At this point, she is managing a small team and they're a very effective team. They also love her because she is attentive, she listens to them. And you can say that they have a pretty good team there. Now, shortly after the husband's death, she was offered a promotion to third floor. What happens in third floor is that it's the operational body of the entire company and people dread dealing with them. The terms used for them are like lifeless, zombies, non-enthusiastic, and so on and so forth. Now, on the third floor, they do things that are monotonous, day in, day out. Those things which are really boring. And people find that it's very difficult to deal with anyone on the third floor. When Mary Jane decided to take up the promotion, it was really because she had to pay for the expenses of the death as well as the education purposes for the children. Now fast forward, we're going to go and look at the four principles that Mary Jane uses while going to a fish market. It's called the Pike Place Fish Market, which actually exists and is the reason the book was written. It is a, a very lively place, which we will see uh, how fishmongers turn the market to life. And these are four principles that they practice in the fish market. The first principle is you can always choose your attitude. Now, there is always a choice about the way you do your work, even though there may not be a choice itself in the work. Um, that is very obvious. Even as we go into the book, we find that in a very normal place like the market, the fishmongers are happy. They are constantly engaging their customers, making them smile. And when you're there, there are cases of you know fishes flying in the air and they just make a place so much better by injecting energy and life into it. The second principle we want to talk about is play. At the market, they play not just with children, but they also play with adults, uh, people that are in monkey suits. They come there and be entertained. The third principle, which is very often used there, is also called make their day. What can they do to make their customers' day better? What can they do to make you smile? can they do uh, to make the day just a little bit better for you. The last principle is a principle with two words called be there. And I think as a principle, this is the most important of all four by choosing to be there and listening to the people in front of you. It could be your customers, it could be your family members, but being present at each time and not huddling behind the phone, that is a very important principle we can take away from this book. So today there are four principles that we've learned. Number one is choose your attitude regardless of where you are. Secondly, play. Have fun while you're at it. Third, learn to make their day. And finally, be there. And that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the book review. Thank you.